So I'm Vignesh, I'm part of Aerial Technologies. So we are only a, we are kind of a developer only team supporting consulting companies to do the developments and customizations. So about two years back, uh, we got a chance to uh, explore the uh, ICICI Bank APIs, which uh, had a scope to be integrated with uh, ERP Next. So as any companies, uh, like we'll do uh, payments to our vendors for uh, the purchases and uh, we'll do uh, the salary payments to our employees and also like uh, the payments to some customers for uh, the sales returns and all that. So all of it, usually how they do it manually is that like as we all know, we just make the entries here, go to the payments and then download the Excel, do the reconciliation here back in ERP next or uh, we just uh, like uh, do it uh, then and there and then do the manual entries here. So uh, by then, uh, since we got a chance to do it with ICICI Bank, we just integrated with the ERP next and uh, after ICICI, uh, we also did with Standard Chartered Bank and we are in progress with Commonwealth Bank of Australia and also HDFC and Access Bank. So all this bank will be a suite of single app called as Bank Integration uh, App that will be available in Frappe Marketplace and uh, the payments can be directly made from ERP Next. So the process is like this. So in purchase order or in the purchase invoice or in the payroll entry, you will have option to, uh, to trigger uh, payment uh, from there. So for example, in purchase order or purchase invoice, you can create a payment request uh, from the purchase order and then the payment order can be created and uh, things can go on from ERP next. But initially when we developed two years back, uh, we just made everything on our own as a custom app. So I'll just go ahead and show a demo of that. A very quick demo, since it's a flash talk. So this is a purchase invoice. So I just got a permission from this company to just show it on live for you. So from the purchase invoice, I just go ahead and uh, make bank payment. So that can be multiple banks that, that, that a company can be using and uh, one of them is ICICI Bank here. And the mode of transfer that I would like to choose. And all this uh, uh, can uh, take place with a set of workflows that is already available in ERP Next. Each level of approval can be authorized by an OTP and all that. So here I've just removed uh, all of them for the time being. So the payment is initiated in the bank's end. Sometimes it is immediately done and we get the UTR number. We already got it, so the payment is done. And uh, I would have just got the one rupee at my uh, account and automatically the reconciliation entries are made. So the payment entry is made, uh, which will now make this uh, purchase invoice as a paid one. So it's paid. So we get off this all the hassle of uh, just uh, making the payment entries later and all that. Maybe I can quickly show you the payment entry that is uh, created. Uh, like just very plain, simple customizations, but still it was saving a lot of time uh, for the people uh, who are just using it, the UTR number and all that. So, so this is all about it. And uh, uh, with ICICI Bank at least, we have just made the integration possible for uh, doing the payouts and also for receiving the payments and also the host-to-host -host, uh, transfer is also integrated. With uh, Commonwealth Bank of Australia, we just uh, did it for the reconciliation. So any debits or credits will be coming to the bank transactions in the ERP next and uh, it will be available for reconciliation. For Standard Chartered Bank, so it was actually done for a, Kenya, uh, for a client in Kenya, uh, but it is also available for other regions. Uh, if the bank is making it available, it's just a matter of sending the different country code there. So even over there, the payments and uh, again, the debits and credits, there will be a callback which will be coming to the ERP next and the records will be getting created in the bank transactions which will be available to reconcile for you later. For HDFC and Access, it's only the payments and uh, all of them have the balance check and all such uh, APIs that's just integrated. So, so ICIC is already available in Frappe Cloud Marketplace. Please have a look at it. And all of this put together, we just made a Python library, a uh, banking API. Uh, so this library, uh, can be used to do this integration not only with ERP Next, with any, anything else that can uh, just support Python. So we just have a mechanism of adding providers to, for different uh, banks as such. So right now ICIC provider is there and that is open source and other providers will be coming in soon. 
and the Bank API integration uh, app is just going on a refactoring, uh, but it has been uh, open source from the inception for about two years, so please have a look at it. So, uh, done.